person no and then of course uh, we had also discussed yung metric system okay that's used and then some other um, units of measurements used in uh, different countries okay so this time um we'll be discussing kinematics so kinematics is the science of describing the motion of objects using words diagrams numbers graphs and equations kinematics is a branch of mechanics the goal of uh, any study of kinematics is to develop sophisticated mental models that serve to describe and ultimately explain the motion of real world objects so kinematics uh, so this is uh, a part of mechanics okay so this is a branch of mechanics so this is also i mean uh, just a trivia a little trivia so mechanics i mean kinematics is developed by galileo in the early 1600 so you use kinematics you know for objects i mean describing objects the motion of objects without the reference to any other forces okay so um the motion of objects you know, can be described by words um, even a person without a background in physics has a collection of words that can be used to describe moving objects. For instance, now we can say that something is, is going fast, something has stopped, something is slowing down, speeding up, and so on. Okay, but in kinematics, now we'll be parang describing, parang measurement lang din to. Now, but then, um, we are now going to describe the motion of an object using quantities and of course with directions so that's basically kinematics so we will be expanding upon vocabulary list vocabulary list with words such as distance displacement speed velocity and acceleration as we will soon see these words are associated with mathematical quantities that have strict definitions so in pag-aaralan natin in this uh, topic are the distance or uh, this usually that's displacement speed velocity and acceleration of objects mathematical quantities that are used to describe the motion of objects can be divided into two categories so the quantity is either a vector or a scalar okay, the, these two categories can be distinguished from one another by their distinct definition so um may dalawang categories tayo no for the motion of objects we have the vector and scalar so scalars and vectors scalars the definition are quantities that are fully described by a magnitude or numerical value alone while vector on the other hand are quantities that are fully described by both a magnitude and a direction so pag may direction na vectors pa lang but kung motion lang ng object numerical magnitude lang so that is scalar Okay, so the kinematic equations that describe any objects of motions are the following. So we have here um, five equations that we, we must be, um, no, we must, uh, we must uh, be aware of. No? So we have here uh, the D, which stands for distance. So D is equal to V sub I times T plus one half. Uh, a, one-half acceleration times time squared. And then we also have uh, Vf, or V sub F, or the final velocity is equal to initial velocity, Vi, plus acceleration times time. And we also have the V sub F squared is equal to Vi, V sub I squared, plus two times acceleration times the displacement. And then we also have D, or the displacement is equal to the initial velocity plus the final velocity divided by two times time we also have here the position of an object which is uh, which is denoted by x so x of f is just the final uh, final position is equal to the initial position or xi plus the initial velocity or uh, v sub i times time plus one half of acceleration times time squared so these are the formula that we must uh no no to be able to solve for uh, 
<laughs> different situations in on kinematics. So the symbols in the equation have a specific meaning. The D stands for displacement, T stands for time, A stands for acceleration of objects. Uh, the symbol VI or V sub I stands for initial velocity and the symbol VF or V sub F stands for the final velocity. And then may, may, may meron pa tayo kanina ng equation na may X sub F and X sub I. So X is just the position. Position, uh, X sub F is uh, final position and X sub I is initial position. Okay, um, let's have an example no, on how do we solve such problems on kinematics. So we have here uh, an example, a problem, example problem A. So Luke drops a pile of roof shingles from top of a roof located 8.52 meters above the ground. Determine the time required for the shingles to reach the ground. Okay. So, alam niyo yung ano, yung shingles, roof shingles. Do you know what a roof shingles is? Roof shingles are parang, di ba, you've seen roofs nga parang yung bubutang lahiyag yung papayal. Bagang tiles pero roof. Ito nga, one piece of that is uh, what you call roof shingle. Okay. So, according to the problem here, look down, drops a pile of uh, roof shingles from the top of a roof located at 8.52 meters above the ground. So, that determine the time required for the shingles to reach the ground. So, how do we solve uh, such problems? No, we are only given here, in fact, we're only given one a quantity. Diba? Yung uh, distance lang, no? which is 8.52 meters no, from the ground. Okay, but then, we have to keep in mind na once you drop something, no, it has to do now with the Earth's gravity. And pag nag, nag free fall yung object, I think most of you know what is the acceleration of a free falling body. Now, what is the ano? What is the acceleration? Pag nag free fall yung yung isang object due to just due to gravity. Anyone who knows the value of the acceleration, the constant acceleration due to gravity's uh, force? Hello? Hello, do I still have students? Hello. Ah. Uh, what was that? Anyone from the class? Ten point eight watt, Mr. Enano. Meters per second. I think that's meter per second squared pag, ano, pag acceleration. Okay, so a free falling body has a constant acceleration of 9.8 meter per second squared. Okay, so I think uh, you already have encountered this during your physics, uh, previous physics, physics subject, no, from your previous studies. Okay, uh, so how do we solve? Ayan nga, how do we solve? this problem. Of course, we have to refer to the equation. Okay? So the solution to this problem begins by construction of an informative diagram of the physical uh, situation. The, the second step involves the identification and listing of known information in variable form. And you might note that in the statement of the problem, there's only one piece of numerical information explicitly stated at 8 Point fifty two meters, just like what I've said earlier. So, ayan nga, according to the statement, you know, what we have to do to solve such problem is to first draw an illustration or a diagram that represents the problem itself. Okay, so according to the problem, you know, there was a uh, look drops a uh, roof shing shingle. So, kahit yun na lang yung draw natin, kahit yung, yung object na yun, you know, and then the direction that is going to, uh, that is going, you know, and then of course the given. 
the displacement or D of the shingle is 8 negative 8.52 meters. Why is it negative? Kasi um, in physics, you, you have to take note of which direction as, uh, an object is moving. No, kasi usually, pag um, horizontal movement, going right or going forward is positive. Going left or going backward is negative. Pag vertical movement naman, <clears throat> going upwards is positive. Going downwards naman is negative. So that is why the displacement or the D is negative 8.52. Yung given kanina sa problem. Bakit siya naging negative? Because the motion nga of the object is downward. Okay. So the remaining information must be extracted from the problem statement based upon your understanding of the above principle. Okay, so you, uh, yan. you must know how to extract information based on the problem that is given to you. Okay, so this... Uh, this will be our para illustration. So you have to draw the object itself. Wait lang, I forgot to set up my uh, graphics tablet. Where is it? Wait lang guys, I'm just setting up my, you know. Para makapagsulat-sulat din ako. So, ayan. What you're seeing on your screens right now is the illustration no, of the problem that was given earlier to, to, to the example, example problem A. So, consider yung black na yan, yung, yung, that blue na square is the roof shingle. And then it was dropped by Luke from the height of 8.52 meters. So, of course, if it was dropped, papunta yung uh, pababayan, di ba? So that is why uh, yung displacement natin is 52, ay negative 52 meters. Wait lang ha. Ayan. Ah, di pala ako makapagsulat. Is it still visible yung ano ko, yung slides? Visible pa ba? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes. Okay. So, ito yung, yung roof shingle natin is this one right here. Ito. This is the roof shingle or the object that we're talking about in the problem. And then, ito yung position na sa baba. Uh, bumaba daw siya, papunta dyan. Ito lang, tingnan natin yung problem ulit. Ha. The problem states that uh, Luke drops a pile of roof shingle from the top of a roof located at 8.52 meters above the ground. Excuse me, sir. Dere man, sir. Na, move on. Imo, ano. Ay. Sige, sige. Wait lang. Tapos, lay. Habang ano, face. Present na lang ako ulit. Um, how about that? Nakikita na ba? Uh, is it visible na already yung presentation ko? 
Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, according to the problem, okay, we are to determine the time required for the shingle to reach the ground. So, we're looking for time. Okay. Um, this is the... Okay. And then we're, all, uh, we're given here itong um, displacement, uh, which is 8.52 meters. So we're looking for time. And then, of course... Um, Click tayo sa illustration. Doon na lang tayo maglagay ng even. Okay. So, from the problem, we can say that, I mean, uh, we, are, we were given that the displacement is negative um, 8.52 meters and then the acceleration is constant kasi nga free falling yun from the uh, value uh, given uh, free fall yung isang object kasi due to, acceler uh, due to gravity constant yung acceleration natin which is either positive or negative 9.8 meter per second squared so depende sa paggamit but in this particular problem no negative 9.8 it represent that pababa yung motion ng object and then of course yung magiging initial velocity natin is 0 meter per second. Kasi nga, before it drop ni Luke yung object, it was at rest. Diba? Naka at rest muna yun. And then, the moment na nirelease niya yung shingle, doon na nag-start mag-accelerate yung object pababa. But then, the initial velocity is 0 meter per second. And then, we're looking for time. So, we are given here, um, uh, yeah, we, we know here the initial velocity, the displacement, the acceleration, and we're looking for time. Okay, so I have here the list of uh, the list of equation or the list of uh, yeah equations for the kin for kinematics, the list of formulas. So which do you think can we use? Now knowing that we are given the initial um, velocity, the displacement, the acceleration, and time, but uh, we don't know what the final velocity is. Okay, we're looking for time. We're given for the initial velocity for the displacement and acceleration. So, which do you think of the following formula is best to use? Anigatolo, sir. Anigatolo? Um, we can't solve for time. Kung, kung ba? Uh, we're solving for time, right? For the example. But then, yung, yung third na formula, wala siyang T. Right? So, how can we solve for something na wala dyan yung variable? So, any other idea? Yung first, sir. According to Obregon, si Obregon ba yun? Yes, sir. Okay. So, it's actually correct, no? We, we are going to use the the first formula. Kasi, we are given the displacement, which is negative something, 8.5 meters ata yun. And then, we're also given the acceleration, which is negative 9.8 meter per second squared. We're also given the initial velocity, which is zero, and we're looking for time. Okay? We are not given naman the final velocity. And then, of course, wala naman just the formula. So we, that means we can use this. It's best to use the formula displacement is equal to initial velocity times time plus one half of the acceleration times time squared. So we'll be using this formula. Okay, so it's much better now if uh, may list kayo ng formulas so that you can identify what formula are you going to use. Okay. Now, uh, so we are going to use this formula again. So, displacement is equal to initial velocity times time plus one of acceleration times time squared. So, uh, substituting values lang tayo, yung displacement natin is given to be negative 8.52 meters. Velocity, of course, yung initial velocity is 0 meter per second. So, you put 0 times time, which is unknown. So, you, you write, you, you write nyo lang yung time, your t. And then, you copy plus one half, you have to substitute the acceleration, which is negative 9.8 meter per second squared, and of course, yung time squared. So this will automatically be zero, diba? By zero, 
times anything is zero. So, zero yan. What would remain na lang is, yan. So, what happened here is, minultiply na si one half kay negative 9.8 meter per second squared. So, that is how we got negative 4.9. So, yung iba, copy lang. Kinapi lang natin yung displacement, which is negative 8.52 meters. Copy down lang din yung time squared. So, ito lang yung, this part lang, yung uh, sinimplify natin. Yung one half of a uh, negative 9.8 meter per second squared, which is, Negative 4.9 meter per second squared. Now, how do you think can we solve this? Remember, we're looking for time, the right? Looking for time. Anyone from the class who has an idea on how can we solve for the time? How about the others? According to Miss Barikante, nag nag auto auto daw na ako ng audio. Asa gihab ba iyo or ayala? Yes, sir. Nag auto auto gihapon? Ayala na sir. Auto auto gihap sir. Okay, manaman din sir. So it might it might be the no the yes so kasi maoran lewat no. In fact, kanina nag brown out nag brown out gihab ba iyo? Okay, man, sir. Nag-run out kasi di nag out kasi sa school. That is why na na parang ang internet. Okay, but then, oh, di naman, may generator man. Okay lang. I'll be posting naman this sa Google Classroom para you have also the ano uh, the slides for you to study on. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go back to our uh, solution. So, how do you think can we simplify this? We are now uh, given here, ito na, meron tayong na-arrive na part of the solution na negative 8.52 meters is equal to negative 4.9 meter per second squared times time squared. How can we get the value of time? Anyone from the class? How do you think? This is just algebra. Algebra na tayo, ha? Simplifying na lang. How can we solve for time? Try for given uh, this. Divide both sides by uh, negative 4.9. Ah, uh, uh, I cannot hear you, Mr. Cardania, kasi pang, parang ano lang, maingay, masyado. Di rin tayo transpose Mr. Lee Siges, because that is multiplication, no? We cannot just transpose. What was that again? Jadi aku nak kain tin di Mister Kerdanya. Okey lah, baik chat mo. So the idea here, no, the algebraically, what we do to identify the value of a variable is to isolate it on the other side of the equation. That is the simplest form. So the, pro, uh, the question is, how can you isolate t squared on the, that, on the other side of the equation? Divide both sides, sir. sir divide both sides, sir, by ano? negative 4.9. Yes, and exactly. So you have to divide both sides by
Yung motor ni Corinthe. That... Check, 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 check. Audible na ba ako ulit? Yes po, sir. Yes, sir. Nag-change powder kasi. Siya namatay. Change powder. Okay. Nag-make up doon, sir. Where were we? Asa na tayo? Divide both sides, sir. Both sides pa eh. Negative um, 4.9 meter per second squared para ma-isolate natin si T squared on the other side of the equation. Ayun. That's exactly what we will do. Of course, pati yung unit ha. Kailangan yung unit parehas din. So we divide both sides by negative 4.9 meter per second squared. So this will automatically be cancelled out or divided out to 1. So, 1 times t squared is t squared na lang. That's why we'll have. Yun. And then, of course, kailangan natin i-divide si negative 8.52 meters by negative 4.9 meter per second squared. So, we will now have. one point seven three nine second squared is equal to t squared. So, of course, para mawala yung square or yung exponent that we have to divide both sides by i mean we have to uh, get the square root of both sides so we'll have the square root of 1.739 second squared is equal to the square root of time squared is equal to the time is equal to 1.3187114926 seconds or uh 1.32 seconds So, ayun, if we're, uh, para ano na lang, para maging constant tayo, uh, let's have uh, dalawang decimal numbers or decimal places. Round off to, to, the second pa, to the second decimal number. Okay. Para sa final answer na. Ha? So, it would take 1.32 seconds for the shingle to... Uh, reach the ground no from a height of 8.52 meters gets yung example yes sir okay so i think i still have another example for this and we have uh, let's have example problem b so the problem states that Rex throws his mother's crystal vase vertically upwards with an initial velocity of 26.2 meter per second. Determine the height to which the vase will rise above its initial height. Okay, so again, now Rex throws his mother's crystal vase vertically upwards with an initial velocity of 26.2 meter per second determine the height to which the vase will rise above its initial height 
So imagine you throw a crystal vase vertically upward and then its speed, its velocity, pala, its velocity is 26.2 meter per second. And then we are looking for the displacement, the height, you know, from the moment you throw it and then up to the point where uh, before it began falling down again, di ba? Kaya of course, di rin ito infinitely nga maghihinita si Timo Vase nga iglalabo ka igbaw. No? It will reach a point, uh, its peak, no? and then of course, it's gonna fall down due to gravity. So the question here is parang um, what is the displacement from no, from the moment you throw it, the moment it, it goes out your hand, no? and then yung peak niya sa taas, yun yung, yung uh, displacement, that's the quantity na hinahanap natin in this particular example, problem B. So we're looking for the height or the displacement. So what are we given here? Ano yung given sa atin? Hello? Hello, hello? Yes, sir. Aside from the initial velocity, ano pa yung mga given natin dito? What do you think? Answer. Nakukito. Positive acceleration. Positive acceleration? Pa paano natin masusolve yung acceleration? Acceleration. Sir, kay constant sa acceleration, sir. Okay. Ngayon ko lang ma-realize na parang may mali sa problem. Kasi according to the problem dito, yung, yung ginamit nila, so there's actually, gumamit actually sila ng acceleration dito, which is uh, negative 9.8 meter per second squared. But then, yung motion kasi ng object dito is pataas. Right? Yes po, sir. Basta, And then it's not going to be accelerating. It's not going to be accelerating because yun nga, may, may, may force tayo na pumipigil sa, sa object na you just threw upward. So, dapat may resistance tayo na gravity. So, it's, it's actually decelerating. No? Hindi accelerating. But then, we can actually solve for uh, the displacement if if we know the initial the, the initial the final velocity, the initial velocity, and the time. But then, ano ba? Ano yung, yung pwede natin ma-extract ma dito na, na data. Wait lang, ha? So, na yun? So, yung initial velocity. So, initial velocity or VI is equal to 26.2 meter per second. And then, of course, yung final velocity natin, syempre, if, if you throw if you throw an object upwards, diba, it will be uh, parang babagal ng babagal yung object until it finally comes to a stop before it falls down. So, meaning, yung final velocity, velocity natin would be zero. Zero meter per second. 
Yeah. But then, we don't know what the time is, di ba? Kung may time sana, pwede sana natin ma- solve agad yung displacement. But then, we don't know what the time is. And then, all of the other equations have yung acceleration. Okay. So, according to the problem, Ayan, they used yung ano na, yung they used uh, uh, yung acceleration ayan, I think uh, makikita naman dito ayan, so ginamit nila ulit yung acceleration na negative 9.8 meter per second squared no, kasi after anyways, it's gonna be free falling naman, free falling after uh, you have thrown it up, no? You thrown it upwards, and after to the point that it reached its peak, it's gonna fall down again. So maybe that is why did they still use the acceleration, the negative 9.8 meter per second squared? Because if we only have the initial final velocity as our data, hindi talaga natin masusolve, de ba? The problem, kasi ka based on formula, if we're only given uh, initial and final velocity, kahit anong formula dito, kahit anong formula dito, so di, di kaya masolve yun. No? So, yung sa di kasi, may, may t pa tayo, may time. And then, we don't know what the time for that specific problem. But then, if we have the initial velocity, the final velocity, and acceleration, which formula do you think can we use? Asang formula kaya yung pwede natin gamitin. If we're looking for the displacement, and then we're looking for the, I mean, we're looking for the displacement, we're given the initial velocity, final velocity, and acceleration. Anong formula yung pwede natin gamitin? Nagkadawa sa na formula. Nagkadawa? Is there a displacement sa pangalawang formula? Nan po, sir. Oh, paano natin masusolve yung yung displacement? Di ba, we're solving for displacement? Katalong paano natin masusolve yung... Yeah, okay, so we, we have... I mean, we can use yung third. As you can see, okay, yung third equation, it says there na sa, si final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus uh, twice the acceleration times time or 2a times d. Okay, so pwede natin magamit yung third equation Okay, if we're given the initial final velocity and the acceleration looking for the displacement. So if we're going to use this, okay, let's try to uh, solve na the problem. Yeah. So using the formula, uh, uh natin yung values. So yung final velocity natin is zero meter per second. That's my square. Don't forget, kasi yun yung formula. And then of course the initial velocity is twenty six point two meters per second. Tapos naka-square din siya, plus, the, plus twice of the acceleration, which is negative 9.8 meter per second squared, times d, which is the variable or the quantity that we're looking for. So, uh, um, ito. simplify natin. So, of course, itong 0 meter per second squared would automatically be equal to 0. Tapos, 26.2 meter per second squared would be 686.44 meter squared per second squared plus 2 times 9. Uh, negative 9.8 meter per second squared would be negative 19.6 meter per second squared and then copy lang yung D. Okay. Yeah. So, can we add itong 6.86 0.44 meter per uh, meter squared per second squared. Pwede man natin siyang ma-add. What would be our next step after this? Nakakalanat ba ba? Nagets pa? Up to this part? Medyo confusing nyo, sir. Ahay na part. 
Okay, so kanina na we were already given ano, given na tayo ng final velocity or the V sub F which is equal to 0 meter per second. Tapos yung initial velocity naman natin is given to be 26.2 meter per second. And then we're also given the acceleration which is equal to negative 9.8 meter per second squared. So that's why ito yung ginamit natin, itong formula. And then from here, substitute na lang. Sinubstitute natin yung final velocity, which is 0 meter per second. And then of course, kasi may squared, so copy lang. And then, and so on. Kinapi natin lahat ng, ng given sa final velocity, initial velocity, tapos sa acceleration. Looking for that displacement. So, sinimplify lang natin. The first thing we do is uh, we have to use itong exponent. Diba? So, dito Ito siya would automatically be 0 dapat. Okay? And then here, we have to multiply 26.2 meter per second by itself. So, 26.2 meter per second times 26.2 meter per second squared, of course. Pati yung meter per second, multiply mo yan by itself. That is how we got this na 686.44 meters squared per second squared. And then, of course, uh, minultiply ko lang si 2 by negative 9.8 meter per second squared. So, Nagkaroon tayo ng negative 19.6 meter per second squared and then copy lang yung D. Naintindihan? Okay na ba dito? Yes po, sir. Okay. So, what do you think should be our next step? Paano natin isosolve? Yes. Marino, Cardania, you have an idea? Yes, Mr. Lisi, yes. Transfer, transfer po sir ang kuan, 686.44 meters squared per second squared ng toilet side, sir. Bali magiging negative yan. Okay. So that's actually correct, no? Kasi nga, uh, hindi na, hindi, we cannot add them because they they have different uh, units, diba? Meter, uh, meter squared per second squared and then yung 19 naman, yung negative 19 is meter per second squared. So we have to, uh, I mean, we can uh, transpose it to the other side or you can uh, subtract 686.44 meter squared per second squared both sides so pero uh, actually transposition lang din yon what would happen now is natin siya to the other side so this is how it would look like negative 686.44 meter squared per second squared is equal to negative 19.6 meter per second squared times d okay and of course from here to get rid of I mean, for, for D, for the displacement to be alone on the other side of the equation, we have to divide both sides by negative 19.6 meter per second squared. So this would automatically be divided out. So meron na lang tayong D on the right side of the equation. And then we, we can now divide negative 686.44 meter squared per second squared by 19, negative 19.6 meter per second squared. Okay. So, negative 686.44 divided by negative 19.6 is positive 35.02 meters. Okay. Paano, sir? Ha? Sir, pa pa paano pa na m squared, sir, na nain po? Ah, okay. So, this will be cancelled out. Diba? S squared divided by S squared is 1. Mawawala. Diba? This will be equal to 1. Tapos, m squared naman over m is m. 1 times m is m na lang. So, that is how... Ganon din yung nangyayari sa, ano, sa units natin. Kung nag-divide kayo, dinidivide din natin yung units. Okay, sir. Gets? <laughs> okay na? Gets na, sir. Okay, so that is why, I mean, this is how we solve for the, no? 
So the displacement is 35.02 meters. Naintindihan na? May nag-raise ba ng hand? Uh, yes, Liala? Sir, bagan nalit ka sa ako, sir. Baga direct na kalanat ko din. And ini nga, M, di ba? So, kadit M. Kung, uh, tawag gini. At nga M squared. Tapos, adi nga, M lay, ya. Yeah. So, balit M. Kung mati, di ba? One nito, ya. Yeah. Bale, ano, sir? So, one M to. Bale, do, at yeah. Di divide mo yan. By 1M, bali 2M lagi apiya dapat unta ano? Dere ba tasya, sir? Dere. Oh, uh, sige. It, it M squared. Do hati yang M. M times M ito. Ito sa lang nga M. At M lang, o sa lang ito yung M. So basically, kung nag-divide mo hiya, do ha nga M divided by yung sa nga M, makakansila ito sa nga M, o sa lang nga M it masasalim. Diba? Diba? Amo na. Ah, okay na, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, yun. So, basically, that's how we solve the example B. Sige, ayan. Um, let's have example C. Uh, sige, you, solve, you try to solve for this. And then, yung makakapag, uh, makakasagot nito would be exempted sa homework. Uh, ano, sir? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be, uh, makakapagsagot ba? Ng example Z, C. Would be exempted ah, okay. sa homework. Oo. Uh -oh. So, problem C states that you get in your car to drive to your school. While at rest, you place your foot on the gas and apply a constant acceleration of 2.5 meters per second. What will your velocity be? Ah, wait lang ha. I think there's something wrong here. Kasi dapat, pag uh, acceleration, no? For the information, everyone, if your acceleration, yung unit mo is meter per second square dapat. Okay? Take note ha. So, dito dapat, meter per second. So, actually, pwede ko siyang i-edit, no? Ayan. Meter. Sir, pwede, sir, kumita sa kung kanina, han, last. Uh, so, again, pag-acceleration, ha? <clears throat> Anay lah, ini edit kulan problem. Nak kita na? Yes sir. Okay, so anong last slide ato tro? An last, an last slide sir. Final slide. An bagoh ini. Anay ha? Ni ko mana ni next? Okay, what happened? Nakikita pa? Ano akong presentation? Yes, sir. Oh, Nandiyan naman na ni next. What is happening? Ay, ay, naglalag pala. Ini? Ang solution? Yes, sir. Ito, sir. Nakapin na ang problem? Okay. Para makaka-answer. Again, na exempted for the homework. So, I think there are actually... Uh, Ah, isa lang ba yung tanong dito or dalawa? Oh, so actually, dalawa yung tanong, no? So, parang dalawa ata yung magiging exempted. Or okay lang din kung isa lang yung magsagot. 
Kung dalawa, okay lang din naman. Ito lang may nag-chat. May nag-chat ba? Or may nag-raise ng hand? So may sagot na si Mr. Lisiges. Okay. Uh, do you have your work, Mr. Lisiges? Do you have no uh, parang solution and then illustration for your answer? May solution ka ba, Mr. Disiges? And then, ano, illustration? Okay po ako, sir. Kay Molak Simala, sir, may explain, sir. O, oh, sige. I-explain nila. Um... So, one, sir, for the initial velocity, sir, kay one man, at ang initial velocity, nakalimin nga di, at least po, sir. Bali, instant okay. po, zero, one, sir. Tapos ano ito nalang, sir? V sub i is zero. Yes po, sir. V sub f, or final velocity, is? Amo, sir. Hindi pa mamilingan, sir. Ano yung kuwan? Waray. Unknown pa, sir. Mayda. Unknown pa, sir. Kuwan. Final velocity. Ah, okay. So, unknown. Final velocity. We're looking for final velocity. Okay. Ano ba yung given? Ang given, sir, kuwan, ang acceleration po, sir, which is 2.5 meter per second squared. Acceleration? Uh, 2.5 meter per second squared. Okay. Kaya ni, ang time else? po, sir, which is 10 seconds. Mali 10 s. Time is 10 seconds. Sige. What formula did you use? Ang uh, concern... Ano pa, sir? Ano ang formula ni maging gamit? So, this is actually correct na ano. This is actually correct nga ano in niya ng mga given na na-extract natin from the problem. So the initial velocity is since at rest siya, so 0 meter per second. And then we're also given the acceleration which is 2.5 meter per second squared and then time which is 10 seconds. Thus we're looking for the final velocity. We're looking for the velocity after 10 seconds. Okay, so ano yung formula natin, Mr. Lisigas? Sir, tiyaton, v final velocity is equals to initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Okay. So, meron tayo, we're looking for final velocity given the initial velocity, acceleration, and time. So, we can use the formula. Okay. We can use the formula. Uh, final velocity is equal to Initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Sige, substituting values will have uh, initial velocity is zero. So zero plus something. So actually, we can omit na zero. So yung matitira na lang is acceleration times time, which is 2.5 meter per second squared multiplied by time, which is 10 seconds. Ay, seconds lang, hindi squared. Sorry. Okay. So, 2.5 meter per second no, times 10 seconds is equal to 25 meter per second squared. So, this is actually 25 meter per second na lang. 
Okay? Meter per second na lang kasi, yan. Si second squared, tapos itong isang seconds matatanggal. Diba? Mga di-divide out. So, meter per second na lang. So, yung final velocity natin or V sub F is 25 meter per second. So, correct na. So, exempted na si Mr. Amir Lisigas sa ibibigay kong homework mamaya. Ganun lang kasimple. So, correct na yung uh, velocity after 10 seconds. Now, the question is, how far will you have traveled in that time? Sige daw, anyone from the class? Anyone from the class? Yes, Mr. Liala. 250 meters, sir. Ambot la. Pera? 250, sir. Times. Gin times ting kula. And compare kasi. Gin times. And acceleration niya, sir. Diri man. Magigin so good lang ito. Kay. Ano yung final velocity ba, sir? Gin times ko lang kung 10 seconds. Kumpara yung kauras nagbiyahe. Tapos kung... Oh. Ka Pwede ka lang magsuka dito, Mr. Liala. If constant ang imo, aani mo velocity. Kung constant. No, but then, inihi kaya kasi... Ito bali natin ka kada segundo natin ka igbauti yak one. Yes. Oo. So, di man constant it aton velocity. So, di kita pwede magbasta-basta lang multiply. Kung constant, pwede aton. Amo nga, ni, kung bayan may mag-answer pa ngayon mo, classmate, bangin gusto niya na maging exempted ha assignment para later activity. Okay, so, we are now given, may danakita, ano? We are now given the initial velocity, final velocity, we're also given time, and acceleration. So, tato na lagi bibiling is how far will you have traveled in that time? So, we have actually, uh, yung kanina, may apat tayong, I mean, apat pa or limang formula. I think there are five formulas given So I'm gonna go back to that slide, no, to the list of, or, or no, I think I'm, I can just edit. I'll just edit the slides so you can see the formula. Asana tayo. Example C. And meron na ba? Do you now have the answer to the second, I mean to the, I think, uh, actually, example si pa rin, pero kasi dalawa yung hinahanap natin dyan. Yung uh, velocity in 10 seconds and then the distance traveled. Wait lang ha, kasi ka nagsisave pa. Ah, makita ka agad yung slide with the list of formula. Yan. So which do you think is a formula that we can use to identify, to solve for uh, the position. 
Ani ka tulo sir na formula? Papat ani sir. Now is it this one? Ini? Adi? So we are given the acceleration, we are given the time, the initial velocity. Yes. Okay. Sir, an ikaw patong ako n. Hi, nadi. An an der ikaw patong an ito. Tungo sa. Ito. Mahon ginin circle. Kung gamito nato nito, magigin ano? Displacement is equal to initial velocity plus final velocity over two times time. So that's gonna be the average velocity, ano? Sige daw. This would be equal to if we're going to use that formula. What's the initial velocity? The initial velocity is... Ano initial velocity? May answer si Bulby. Can you justify your answer? Mr. Okay. So, kung zero... Sir, sir. So, Add it, sir. Meron tayong zero... I mean, a final velocity is... Tawag dito. Yung final velocity, yung nasolve natin kanina which is 25. So, 25 divided by 2 is 12.5 times the time, which is 10? Yes, sir. 125. 125? Meters per second. Tama ba, sir? Wara na squared. Ang final velocity natin, pera ito? 25. 25. Divided by 2 is... 12.5 times time, which is 10 seconds. Which is actually 125 meter per second. Okay. Add this, sir. Max solution. Okay. So that's actually correct. No, but then ako, I used the other equation, the the, the fifth one. Okay. Uh, may naka solution? Oh, ayan. Oh, that's it. So you use the formula, displacement is equal to the initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 times time. So that's actually correct. No? So you can actually check kung magiging equal hiya if you substitute both sides. Sige daw, hmm. Mr. Meral, yes, ikuan daw. I-substitute daw itong 1 point, I mean, itong 125 meter per second. Hadi. Kung mag-equal hiya. Ano, sir? Ibutang, ha, di ba? Ano, ibutang. 125. Oh, actually, yan, correct na. Oo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Tapos, ibutang lewat an, ano, an, an VI, ngayon, VF, divided by 2 times time. Kung magpareya si Ara, oh, 125, then correct na. Ano eh? Nalipat ako, sir. And then, PD, given na 125. Yeah. Tapos, V... V, sir? VI? VI nga. Di ba, ano yung maging gamit na formula? Oo. Hmm. Actually, ako kasi I used the other formula. The formula for that position of an object. Which is yung Adiman here. Nakikita pa na akong presentation, di ba? Yes, sir. I didn't pin off first. How about the others? Nakikita pa? So, I used actually this formula. Pero, they... Actually, they actually have the same 
uh, value. Kasi di ba, I we now know naman the acceleration, we know the time, uh, we have the initial velocity. And then we're also given uh, ayun. In initial velocity din natin is zero times time. So this is all automatically makaka-cancel out to. So meron meron na lang tayong one half times 80 squared. Okay, which is uh yung acceleration natin is 2.5. Ay no no no. Ano yung acceleration natin ulit? 2.5 uh, sir. 8. Ah okay, 2.5 nga. 2.5. So acceleration is so this supposedly one half times 2.5 meter per second squared. And then yung time naman natin is 10. Right? Yes, sir. 10 seconds tapos squared. Uh, squared. Okay. So kung i-simplify natin lahat yan, one half times 2.5. Okay. Diretsohin ko na lang ha. Times 2.5 times 10. Ano no, times 100. Dapat kasi 110 uh, squared eh. So it's actually 125 din. Tapos yung unit natin is meters. If you use this yung displacement, magiging ano ba yung uh, unit natin, di ba? So, v, VI, VI natin is zero, di ba? Tapos, yung final velocity is 2 point... May final velocity ba tayo? Meron, di ba? May da, sir. Ano yung final velocity? Meron 25 zero meters per zero second. Zero plus 25 yes, sir. meter per second. Divided by 2 times time, which is? Mm. Times 10. 10 seconds. Ah, okay. So, parehas lang. No? Kasi yung parehas magiging lang. output natin, yung magiging answer natin is uh -oh, 125 meters then. So, we can actually use either of the two. Okay. So, yung magiging yes, displacement sir. natin, I mean, yung magiging position, distance traveled, okay, would be 125 meters. Okay, so by 10 seconds, di ba? After 10 seconds, nakapag-travel na tayo ng 125 meters. Tapos by that time, yung velocity naman natin na it's 2.5. I know, yung velocity natin is... Uh, ano yung VF? Ulit? 25 meters per second, sir. Ayan, 25 meters per second. So, yan. So, yung magiging velocity natin after 10 seconds is 25 meters per second. Tapos, yung distance na tatravel natin would be 125 meters. So, exempted na sa activity natin or sa, sa homework pala si Miralles and Lisiges. Yung X natin for uh, question kasi sabi ni Mr. Lisiges, what does X stands for? So, X stands for a position of an object. Kaya meron tayong initial position and then final position. X, I, X, F. Okay. Okay. So, I'll be giving you an assignment, a homework to be submitted uh, tomorrow na lang siguro, no? I wait. So, tomorrow at 
same time? Kasi ito check ko pa eh. Ah, hindi, ano na lang. Until 3.30 tayo, di ba? So, tomorrow, 3.30 din para ano, 24 hour to work on. And then, of course, don't forget to to illustrate no, what is happening in the situation. Illustrate nyo, you draw an illustration of, of uh, the problem, and then, of course, you write the given, show your solution. Are we clear on that? Clear na tayo sa instruction? Hello, hello? I uh, still have students. It's clear. Okay, sige. Ito na yung magiging homework. This will be your homework except for uh, Miralis and Lisigas kasi exempted na sila dito. May nag ba ng hand? Chicken. Chicken. Chicken na chicken sabi ni ano. Tiongson. Ah, nakapin na ba yung problem? Screenshot na ba? Chicken na chicken, mommy. Yes, sir. Ayan. So, nakapi na ba? Kasi I'm gonna go to the next slide. Screenshot na? Okay. Ayan. Yan lang. Yan lang pala. So, yan. If you don't have questions, kindly open your camera. So, I'll just take a screenshot. Huh? Very serious, very